Hello friends, it is now Thursday, it is 11 a.m. and I want to check in with my first update. My vlog from yesterday is currently uploading, so... Um, so far I have been reading a little bit from Cress. I am now on page 230, so I read another... 53 pages this morning and uh, I have also been listening to some of Lord of the Rings. I haven't found my spot yet, but I have listened to another 17 minutes. So I just put on a batch of laundry and I have um, tidied a few places. Um, right now I am thinking about going out for a walk. Um, I will have to go by the store to pick up a package. It says this, there are, that there are three books from Book Depository. Uh, three packages from Book Depository. And so I think my new orders are coming now. So that means it, I'm, my, I'm guessing it is Mexican Gothic, Relentless Moon, and... Sal and Gabby fix the universe. Um, considering there's three, I think they were shipped more or less at the same time. So I'm hoping um, the only one of that order that I couldn't that couldn't get shipped was Hollow Pox, which will be shipped when it releases in August. So I'm looking forward to that so much. But um, yeah, I'm really excited about that haul as well. But we'll see if I'm correct about the three books that are in it. It could be some other. Um, but obviously they came yesterday when when I was out. That's typical. Um, as I said, I'm going to go on a walk now. And um, I also have to go by the library to hand in some books. Because also, mostly because there's a reservation that I made that came in. So I could pick that up and, and hand in a couple of books that I have completed. Um, so I'm going to go do that. Do I have other plans? This is what I'll be doing, and uh, yeah, see you later, bye! It is now a little bit later, it's like 1 p.m. I'm back from a walk and uh, doing some errands in the city. I bought myself a new makeup brush. I hope it's a decent one. It seems fine, it's a powder brush. Beautiful stuff made using bamboo and recycled materials. So I guess that's fine. I'm just gonna put it up here, maybe that's easier. But. This is the um, This is how it looks Like literally Plain But the extra black one is always the one I get Because it's extra black It means it's, it works better And I got toothpaste because I'm almost running out um, and yes I use 
Aquafresh even though you're supposed to use like Sandium or something like that but it doesn't taste very good so I was at the library and I got my book which I showed you it is called uh, Biotel and I have serial ideas on how to translate it it's not even a real Danish word it's sort of a play on words um, I would say um, it is the series that's called Biotel um, and Biao means mountain, Tel means taken. Um, so I think it's sort of a play on the word breathtaking, but like in Danish that would be called betel, um, but with a mountain, I don't know. Um, so I'm not even go going to try. The first book in the series, and they were lured, I guess lured into it <laughs> um by Cecil Senna made it it is a Danish fantasy it is like just 350 pages ish um so it's about elves and stuff so we'll see if it's something I like I don't even know if I like elves as like magical creatures I don't think I've read enough to have an opinion about it of fairies and stuff. I don't particularly always like fairies, so we'll see if I like this. Um, then I got volume 3 and 4 of Scott Pilgrim because I wanted to get to these for a while, but I wasn't able to go up to the um, young adult section <laughs> because it's been closed off for a while, but now it's open. So I went and checked and they had both 3 and 4 and I'm planning on using this for the readathon, which is happening in the beginning of August, which is a, a readathon where we read Canadian authors, and and um, Brian Lee O'Malley is Canadian, and uh, this is set in Toronto, sort of a contemporary sort of manga, and uh, yeah, so I thought I could read one of those, and uh, since I was there anyway, I could get it. So those are things that I've been happening. I didn't go to the store to pick up my packages yet because. It was raining so I decided to go up here and then we'll see if I go by the store later today instead um, so this is my update for now I'll talk to you later bye oh by the way I actually listened to quite a lot of um, the fellowship of the ring I have found my spot it took a, it was a little bit difficult because I didn't think I'd listen to so much but I am now three and a half hours into it so which means I am over a third of the way at least. I'm on page 140, 141. So I've I have made I've listened to like 60 pages. So and I'm not done for the day yet. But that is my my check-in for now. I will check in again later when I've read some more or when I've come back from the store to pick up my packages. Right now I'm going to be calling my sister and my nephew FaceTime me when I was in the city because he wanted to talk to his uh, aunt, so <laughs> I'm not gonna say no to that, but I decided it was better to wait until I was home, so I am going to be calling him now. See ya! Hello, I just wanted to check in. I haven't actually done very much reading today so far. Um, I've listened a little bit more to The Fellowship of the Ring. Um, I don't have a package to open for you because there was a mishap at the with the mailman. So when he put the slip of paper into my mail, he forgot to put the thing matching that on the package so they couldn't scan it in at the post office. So they had to take it back, so I don't know when it would get here. Usually, I would say, with normal packages, it would just be the next day because there's a time limit. They have a, 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 bit of, a bigger, more pressure to deliver those than these where there's no tracking system at all so I don't know if this won't be until a couple of weeks or next week maybe because they've changed the delivery time um, to be every five days with normal like slow mail so I don't know if that's going to happen or if because they made a mishap they're going to deliver it, try and deliver it tomorrow when I'm not home. But we'll see. Uh, 
at least it was pretty annoying that this happened so anyway i'm just folding laundry i thought i could do that while i talked to you um a little bit and then i'm going to be listening to more of lord of the rings after the update um but yeah so that was a little bit annoying i'm hoping that i will be hoping that the mail will come again tomorrow so at least i can get it this week because otherwise i'll have to wait another week or so and i'm i'm not up for that so um yeah as i said i haven't really read very much i just haven't really been feeling very much like reading today and um the thing is that i'll never pressure myself to read something even if it's readathon where people are trying to read as much as they can if it's not fun to sit down and read i don't see the point so i will always uh, just choose not to read if i don't feel like it um so at least i've been able to listen to some audio today so that has made sure that i have read quite a bit and i have read like 60 pages this morning so it's not like I didn't read anything and I think I read another chapter today um, like one chapter this evening um, so that's fine but like yeah I'm looking forward to at least reading I'm, I'm going to bed after I've finished folding all of this laundry and then I will try and read for an hour before bed and see how far I get and then we'll see how my reading mood feels like tomorrow. Um, but I definitely think it's important to know when to read and when, when, when you decide not to read because like reading should be fun. It shouldn't be something that you force on yourself. Otherwise it's going to be um, annoying and not fun. <laughs> yeah, not fun for sure, but just yeah, I think it's important to make sure that you are always having fun when you're reading or at least not fun necessarily depending on the book that you're reading but that you're enjoying it and that you're doing it because you want to and not because you feel like some sort of pressure and I know that sometimes I've talked about in my, my videos um, putting some pressure on myself but it's more because I, I set myself a couple of goals and when I don't meet them I, I, I do get a little bit disappointed but not because but not that I would sacrifice reading that even like it's difficult to explain because I think some people would assume that I don't read for pleasure or my own pleasure and everything I read is something that I read because of something else but the thing is no matter what I read um, even if I'm enjoying what I'm reading and loving what I'm reading right now I will always be thinking about "Ooh, I need to read this book soon or I really want to read that book or I really want to do this idea I keep keep having all of these different video ideas of things that I can do in my head but at the present time I'm obviously focusing on this thing to complete this um, but it doesn't mean that I don't allow myself to read whatever I feel like reading it's just that yeah no matter when I will always be thinking about another thing that I also could be reading at this present time even if I'm in really really super enjoying the book that I'm reading and it's difficult to explain um, I don't know if that's a thing that a lot of people have or other people have or it's just me um, but I also think it comes with the fact that I, if you watch a lot of other YouTubers and they're talking about a book that you really want to read and, uh, um, and you, you kind of like, oh man, I really want to read that, but when am I go ever going to get find the time to fit that into my own schedule? Because you have so many books that you want to read, it's a never ending circle. So, But that's a couple of things that I've been thinking about today <laughs> because of this. Um, yeah, but I do have a couple of fun video ideas that I hope I can do at some point. I have a couple of other things 
that I'm participating in first. Like I'm currently, as, I'm, as you may know, as you know, I'm doing the reading rush <laughs> because duh. Um, but there's also the read a thon which is uh, hosted by Lala from, 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 which is hosted by Kayla from Books and Lala. That's what I wanted to say. Yeah, so that's a readathon where you're focusing on reading from Canadian authors. There are prompts and stuff, there's a bingo board you can fill out. And I'm definitely planning on trying to participate because I realized, like last time she had, she when she created the readathon at first, I remember thinking, but I don't read any Canadian authors, I don't have own any Canadian authors and all of that. And I realize now how how much that is something then I need to, to cor need to correct and also discovered if I just looked a little bit more into it I actually had quite a few of authors on my TBR on my own books that were from Canadian authors so I'm definitely going to be participating in that and I have exciting plans for it but I also have uh, hope that I will have plan have have time to do a, a different fun video in August, but also know that August is my like without a doubt my busiest month uh, of the year in terms of my work. There's no doubt about it. So I know I'm going to be working a lot of extra time in August. So I don't know how much time I will actually have to do any sort of fun video. Um, that is sort of. Also a thing to consider. Um, but yeah, okay, where am I going to put this pile? So yeah, that's just what I've been thinking about today and my... Um, but right now I will be finishing, I'll finish folding the laundry and uh, get back to you later. See ya. Hello, it is now 30 minutes past midnight, my battery is flashing so this will be very 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 short. Um, this is my final tally for the day. I ended up reading a little bit more of Chris than I initially thought I would and I could have continued because it's really really engaging right now but I am so tired, I need sleep so I'll read it in the morning. Um, yeah, I'll talk to you tomorrow with another update. Final tally here. See ya.